Here's a Technics SLP 999 from the late 80s or early 90s. A fabulous machine, sounds fantastic. Uh, easily as good as anything uh, you can buy this uh, sort of money these days. It was a 20 bit machine in its time, but uh, the sound is just excellent. It's about the top of the range one that they did. And um, it's uh, still exchanges for good money. Um, but after some time, if it gets a lot of use, the uh, the laser mechanism starts uh, misreading some discs it won't read. So um, what what can you do about it? Well, luckily, Texas Technics made a lot of decks using this mechanism, which was the SOAD70A. They used others as well, so we're looking for the SOAD70A, and you can find out there's loads and loads of um, models that they made using this deck and some of them are very cheap and an example is this one the SLP 250 um, and on eBay you can still pick these up uh, find one that hasn't had much use and is working there's a lot that they say don't work so you might as well buy one that has not had a lot of use uh, this one is very cheap it's got a faint display but uh, it's about £25 including post and so you, you can choose this one, the 250, and uh, get the mechanism out of here and just swap it over to this one. Now I'll show you what the problem is. Um, here's a disc. Oops. Let's get the disc. You put it in. And it doesn't read. And you can have a few goes. Sometimes it will read after a few goes, sometimes it won't. But also some discs start skipping towards the last tracks as well. So we we'll, uh, just make sure that this is fine. Put it in this one. Yeah, see it's reading, 15 tracks. So I'm going to take this apart and this one, the sacrificial machine. Now this machine still works. Uh, it's also uh, 20, I assume that's 20 bit, they mean four times over sampling, but it was cheap and this is a much uh, more expensive machine that we want to keep going. With the tops off you can see that the um, laser mechanisms are the same. The only difference is the sticker is different. Um, there's the uh, position coil and everything. So, um, just a matter of uh, a few screws and we should have it out. To get the mechanism out, first you can take this clamp out. There's um, a flexible, they call it a claw here, which you push and lift. On this one, you can see here, it's flexible, you push it, it won't snap off. And uh, then that lifts out on those it's got those two little pivots and then to get the drawer out um it's just a matter of of pulling it and wiggling it this little roller here is a bit tight on the gap but uh, it will come out and uh, then that exposes uh, all this mechanism uh, you can see you can check that this moves freely and hasn't got any dirt or anything green old grease stopping it moving and uh, you can see the belt there as well and uh, it's just um, a matter of uh, releasing the wires and we can get this out to release the cables that are held in these clamps uh, you push it down and pull it and the wire at the same time like this one here and the connections just pop out this ribbon cable you just have to pull it out be careful not to damage it and when it goes back in it's just going to be a matter of lining it up and pushing it in uh, this deck has an earth lead which you uh, disconnect then we can take the whole thing out uh, this one doesn't seem to have an earth lead, so I've just got to disconnect that and pull it out. And I'm going to put this deck back in here. 
and um, so this may still uh, work for someone intermittently. And we're going to put that uh, mechanism in here. In this uh, more expensive deck, there's some little rubber uh, buffers, um, insulation, all vibration things inserted. Uh, this one not. Now on the back of the uh, units, although they look identical, uh, this one, out the cheaper player, has got this metal um, sort of little sub-chassis screwed in with the earth on it. As you can see, uh, this one has got all the holes where it's screwed on, but no sub-chassis at all. Um, I'm not sure whether to leave it on or take it off, uh, because um, I don't think it's part of the mounting mechanism. I'll uh, just see how it fits and whether to leave it on or off. Um, that plate is earthed. Of course, there's no earth on this one. Another thing I've noticed with this uh, uh, swapping these mechanisms is that the holes we put the screws in in the um, from the cheaper deck, the holes are much smaller. And these were the screws in the more expensive deck. They're shouldered screws with a rubber uh, O-ring, a sort of rubber bush. Uh, for again to take up vibrations and they won't go through those small holes the set that was in there has much larger holes so it's either a matter of having to uh, uh, drilling them out or um, having to use the smaller screw I drilled out the holes four millimeter uh, took seconds to do really it's very soft plastic and um, I put it in position, you push the cables back in, that one pushes in and that one. I've eased the mechanism into place. Uh, be careful, it's very tight here. It pushes up against the circuit board and this rubber buffer, if you're not careful, uh, gets pushed out of the um, locating uh, holes that it's fitting in. But you can see when you look in that the holes have lined up and I'm going to screw that in and make sure that it's uh, square and not uh, not rocking or, or twisted. I've left the plate on and there's the earth wire from the... Uh, I connected the earth wire onto that screw, which is an earth screw. You can see all the adjusting pots here for setting up the everything on the laser. I'm not going to touch them. Hopefully they're going to be fine. Make sure the uh, mechanism works after you put it in. It moves in and out slowly. Put the mechanism, uh, the clamping mechanism in up with the drawer open so that the peg locates in the slot as it goes in and out. So let's check if the disc works now uh, with the new mechanism. Well, so far, so good. All back together, just checking that disc is playing okay. Feeding it up, uh, you can see the levels left and right. And also the uh, jog shuttle, where it works. Yeah. One way. The other way. Slow, fast. Skip tracks. And uh, 14. That's plus four. It's 15 tracks on this. It seems to be working. So hopefully that's going to last a few lot more years now uh, without giving any problems. <laughs>